Yippee ki yay, motherfucking YouTube. Welcome to another episode of the Albino Random Beer Review. We have this beer. Uh, Randy bought this for us and went on his trip to uh, to Montreal for the Kinetic uh, concert series. This is Penumbra, or Penumbra. Um, I think it's Penumbra. I believe that's what the Exante Goo makes it. 6.5% uh, alcohol by volume, brewed in Montreal by Du De Ciel, or God in Heaven. Um, God in the Sky. 6.5% alcohol, kind of low for a black IPA, that's what this is, a black IPA. Most black IPAs I've had have been over 7, because they've all been Imperials. Um, water, malted barley, wheat, hops, and yeast. I don't know why you'd add the wheat to this, that's going to kind of take away from it, I would think. But uh, we won't uh, hold that against it until we've tried it. <laughs> Motherfucker, that thing was on good. Not even filled all the way. Whatever. Whatever. So, I mean, it does look really nice. I mean, it is, it is a black IPA. It's black. The head is a, it's a nice mocha color, really. Nice big bubbles in there. Hugging that glass nicely. And... I'm kind of let down already. There's not much of a scent on this. Um, black IPAs, I always think of a super hopped stout. And this isn't coming off with any chocolate. It isn't coming off with any coffee. It isn't coming off as a super hopped beer at all. It has a little bit of a roasty scent to it. and. Maybe a little bit of molasses. Molasses are, uh, or an unrefined caramel. And that's only out of the bottle, out of the glass I get absolutely nothing. Um, cheers to JTV, cheers to YouTube. Okay. Now, Duda CL usually makes some great beers, even if I hate them. They make some great beers, some in-your-face, over-the-top beers. This is like middle of the road. Almost like they were trying to get into Ontario pubs, you know, in, in cities where craft beer hasn't been accepted yet. Um, like St. Catharines, or Niagara Falls, or other such places, but um, that's what it tastes like. It's fairly light bodied. I'd say uh, light to medium bodied. The, the flavor profile is basically taken over by a roasted malt. It's very roasty. There's not much of a hop profile on there. You do get a little bit of a, uh, a piney hop background, but it's, it's overpowered by the, the roasted malts. It's not mixed very well. Basically, it's it's a slightly hoppier black ale. Tastes a lot like, uh, for those of you that have had it, it tastes a lot like Silversmith's Black Lager, in all honesty, just a little heavier bodied. Um, I try not to dr name drop, but that's what it really reminds me of, is Silversmith's Black Lager, or Oast House uh, Irish Dry Stout which basically tasted like Silversmith's Black Lager as well. Um, there's nothing special about this. It's drinkable. I wouldn't want to give this to somebody though and say, here, have a black IPA. This would actually... This actually makes black IPAs look bad. Uh, is it a good beer? Yeah. Is it a good black IPA? No. Um, Style-wise, 
I'd give it a five. I wouldn't want to give this to somebody as a black IPA and to use it as a way for them to find out what a black IPA is. Um, as a beer, I'd give it a seven five. I'd buy it again. I mean, I'd buy it and drink it. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just uh, I was hoping for something more from what it was. So seven five and a five. Uh, 12.5 divided by 2, we're looking at like a 6.25 overall. Anyway, cheers guys.